What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I bet you did not expect for another Paragon video to come this soon. Our very last video, the one right before this one you're watching right now, was the Paragon sculpt scene, their naked legging. Now that was my first ever experience trying the brand as a whole. I did have a very good first impression. The sculpt team and I, we, we got along. The only thing with that legging is that it wasn't gym friendly can wear it to the gym. Now I was getting a lot of requests from you guys to try more of their gym friendly materials. What better way to do so than in an unreleased haul? That is right, Paragon's gonna be coming out with their latest collection. It's called the Botanical Collection that's launching April 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're watching this video the second I post it, first of all, thank you. <laughs> These pieces are not live yet. Not till April 20th, 420. Before we hop into the pieces that are launching, you can check my measurements right here. I'll also have them down in the description box as well, just to help you out. Once these pieces go live in like five days, I'll have them individually linked down below as well. And if any of these pieces interest you, or if you find this video particularly helpful, do us both a solid. Use my code GATA at checkout. <laughs> Save you 10% off your order, help provide for this channel. This way we could keep videos like this coming every single month. We also have new Gymshark on the way. And I'm listening to you guys. I am taking your requests seriously. I actually just placed an order for Define. I'm seeing a lot of buzz about them. That's easily the most requested video right now. So you guys are getting it. Just stay tuned for that. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. First and foremost, we gotta talk about the material in this collection. Whereas the last video was the Reluna fabric, that's what made up the naked legging. Now, we're looking at a more gym-friendly fabric, introducing the Flex Sweat 2.0. So 75% nylon and 25% lycra. You best believe I already tested it out at the gym for you. We're testing sweat, we're testing stretch, fit, all of that. So they've already had the Flex Sweat fabric, but now they're coming out with the 2.0 version. Apparently, what it says right here on the brief, you asked for more stretch, we listened. Now I have never tried their Flex Sweat fabric, but I'm assuming from what they just wrote that it was less stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Ash. They also claim it's designed for your favorite high impact workouts. I don't know, I feel like I have a different version of high impact. We'll get into that in a second. The color palette. We are looking at black, terracotta. Those two colors I actually don't have, but I do have lucky, hello, luck of the Irish. Where was this color for St. Patrick's Day? Cactus flower, which is like a really pretty peach color, and dew. Now, just so we're on the same page, every single thing is made out of this Flex Sweat 2.0, and every single bottom all has the sculpt seam. If you guys remember from the last video, that is what they're known for that sculpt seam. In this collection, they are dropping crossover sculpt seam leggings, big moves sculpt seam shorts, the radiate bra, and the short suit. You'll be able to see what colors each piece is coming in right off to the side of these pictures. These will all be coming in the size range of extra small to 2XL. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. Now I do have one of each piece, just different colors. We're gonna go ahead and start with the crossover leggings. I just have to say, even though this color palette's pretty nice where you can mix and match, whatever you do, do not grab the cactus flower leggings and a green top, unless you wanna look like a carrot stick. You will have a horde of rabbits chasing you every single time you go outside. As you can see, it's called a crossover because you have a crossover band. Very low to moderate compression throughout this entire legging. There's a lot of room around the waistband. So when they say high impact, I guess it's good for hit. You could technically do hit in it. Me personally, I prefer a little more compression in the band and the legging if I'm doing high intensity workouts. I know that's not a big deal to some, but to me, that's what I think of when I really think high impact. It's gotta hold me in places. The body of the legging is where it's a little more compressive. So let's take a look at the seam placement. We have a slight V seam in the front, no front seam. They actually claim that these are anti-camel toe. You will see in the overlap footage, I purposely didn't wear underwear because I wanted to test that out. But all the footage you see of me in the gym, I was wearing underwear. Normally in any legging, other than Gymshark's camo for whatever reason, I get a dreaded CT when I don't wear underwear. That's why I feel like I always have to wear something in between me and the fabric. In this case, yeah, all right. I, I see you, Paragon. You have a slight V-seam around the glutes, 
Again, a really thick seam going down the middle. You do have the sculpt seam. One thing I did wanna note about some of the pieces that came in, I did notice, and I'm actually seeing it right here a little bit on the back of the seam. Some of these seams are coming in frayed. Ironically enough, right as I received these and I noticed that, I actually got a comment on my last YouTube video, someone saying that they bought a pair of shorts and they saw a little bit of fraying as well. So I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. I did notice this on a couple of pieces with the seams. Other than that, it's a pretty solid legging. After working out in it, I didn't feel like it was slipping, even though this material is very almost silky, slippery. This is a super breathable legging. If I were to relate this fabric to an existing fabric that I'm familiar with, when it comes to touch and feel, I'm feeling a heck of a lot of Gymshark Elevate in this. That really slick to the touch, glossy feel. This is gonna be the type of fabric that can withstand rubbing of plates against your leg, doing some hip thrust, having things pressing and rubbing up against you. I do have to say this legging does show sweat. So if you sweat a lot profusely, you will see the sweat coming through, especially in this color. Now, of course, this is what? the lightest color of the bunch, you're gonna see the sweat. But with this material, it does dry quickly off the skin. The material itself dries relatively quickly as well. This is the type of material where if you were to sweat a lot, it would almost feel cool to the touch. Your sweat would start to be cold. Also wanna mention that at the top of this band, there's no seam, that's good. So there's zero dig in the midsection. Length is pretty good on me too. Five foot three, any longer I'd be in trouble. Now I did test sheerness in these leggings in my gym. Now a little bit about my gym, there's two floors. The bottom floor is the bodybuilding section, as I like to call it. The whole thing's a bodybuilding gym, but the bottom is like the iron basement, which means there's no windows, it's a dungeon. The upstairs, a little more lighthearted. <laughs> you got the white walls, some spunky quotes, more light, bright, and airy. So anyways, I tested the sheerness in both of those settings. I would have to say, low lights, you are perfectly fine. For this light of a color, it's surprisingly squat proof. And I don't know if it was my mind playing tricks on me, but when I went to the upstairs, more daylight, natural light, bright lights, that's when I felt like I could see ever so slight sheerness. But then again, I really can't tell if my mind was playing tricks on me, but it's not something to be concerned about. And if this is the lightest pair of the bunch and it's pretty damn squat proof, then you should be fine with all the other colors. That sculpt seam. It does a little something, all right? It does give you some play, some room to really just hike those leggings up how you prefer them to be. Now me, the more hiked the better, right? I wanna see my glute separation, and it does that for me. It is not a supreme scrunch, how I like to call it, like the Honor Active Effortless or the Amplify, one of those neck breaking, Moses parting the seas kind of scrunch. It's not like that. This is very subtle, very natural, almost like a, a peekaboo separation. Like, is it there or is it not? You don't actually feel the sculpt seam either. When squatting, it's not intrusive. This is fitting like how the naked legging did. It's very consistent in the overall comfort level. I think this is very functional gym legging. If you're somebody who doesn't want a drastic glute scrunch, then I would recommend this. I think this would be good for the summer too. It's been very hot here in Jersey. Wearing these in my gym, which happens to be really hot and humid right now at the moment. These held up really well because of their breathability. The one and only downfall is if you don't have your proper size, this will be the type of fabric that starts to wrinkle, that starts to bunch in awkward areas. So I would overall say that this is very true to size, but if you are in between, I would suggest sizing down. I think you can get away with that with the stretch. Let's talk the Radiate bra. Now this is a non-adjustable bra. It does have built-in bra pads. It does have an internal seam separation in between the busts. My true size small, there was a lot of extra room. In the overlap footage you will see, it starts to wrinkle and bunch. Like I said earlier, this material can do that if you don't have your proper size. If I could do it all over again, I would size down. It just looks one size too big for me. Now you do have a really nice wide neckline. The straps are very comfy. They cross in the back, very pretty, very dainty. You have the Paragon logo right across the back band. There's a decent amount of support. I give it a moderate support because you do have a very thick elastic band under underneath the bust. Now, overall, it was a very comfortable bra to work out in. The only, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get nitpicky, right? Here it goes. I personally would like to see a little bit less bulk right where it counts. Right around the seams, I feel like there's a little 
a little too much bulkiness in the seams. Right here, this seam, now it's an inverted seam. You don't see it, it's not thick and obnoxious, but because it's inverted, it's thick and I feel it. It's like, feels like a little elastic band in there. I noticed it almost lipped out a tiny bit when working out, but then again, it is because the bra was slightly big. I know it's not a huge deal because this is not a seamless collection. Me personally, if I'm doing high impact sports, I'm not gonna gravitate towards something like this. That's me personally, you could try it if you want, but I don't necessarily like to jump around in things that have really thin straps on the back. So not my preferred style to do hit in. The Big Moves Sculpt Seam Shorts. We need to talk. Now, out of the leggings and the shorts, you know I'm finicky when it comes to my shorts. I actually really like the shorts. Now, this is their dew color. I actually prefer the dew color over this cactus, believe it or not. I don't know, I feel like the peach might be a little too close to flesh tone for me in certain lighting. It can make me look orange, maybe because of my fake tan, but then that color wouldn't help any. I feel like this dew is such a perfect nude. It is so pretty. This in particular was the piece that had the most corrupt seams. I saw the seams just kind of fraying, then I started picking at it a little bit, so it looks worse now. <laughs> it's like when I get a pimple. I know I should leave it alone. Right? It's already there on my face. Don't make it worse, Ash. But yet here I am, right? Just picking at my zits. <laughs> This is an example of what I call a zit seam. It's there, we get it, don't play around with it. Now, I did feel a little bit of grab around my thighs, not to a degree of discomfort, not to a degree of me sizing up or anything of the sort, just simply something for me to note right now. I actually didn't really experience roll up and I know in this footage I look ridiculous. I don't even know what I was actually doing. I was lifting my legs up. I don't actually work out like that, okay? I got in some awkward positions just to really test the roll up and it held up very well. Now, whereas the leggings had the crossover band and the slight V seam in the front, these have more of a straight across seam. I don't mind it one bit, as long as we keep the V seam on the back, then we're all good here. Whew. They actually do say that these pieces are very squat proof. And yeah, I'll give that to them. They're, they're surprisingly squat proof. I think it's the fabric itself, the durability. You're really not seeing anything through it. It's not a super thin fabric like the naked where it's like, damn. I mean, I'm putting my fist in here and you're not, you're not seeing anything. I would definitely stick to your true size. Definitely stick to it. If you're in between, you need a little more support, you can get away with sizing down. But if you're anything like me and you really don't like a cinch around your thigh, the less the better, then if you're in between, size up. Even if you deal with a little tad bit of wrinkling, I still vote that that's better than dealing with thigh cinch, am I right? Now for the short suit. <sighs> I think this color kind of stole the show. I'm seeing all Lucky Charms right here. I used to eat Lucky Charms a lot as a kid. Pick out the marshmallows, put the rest back in the box. My brother would get all annoyed and mad and tell me. It was worth it though. What was your favorite cereal as a kid? Drop a comment below. Okay, this is a serious question. It definitely wasn't Lucky Charms for me. As much as I enjoyed the marshmallow aspect of it, I didn't eat it a lot because, I mean, how many marshmallows can you eat? The rest of the cereal is bland. I think Reese's Puff cereal wins. Mm. Reese's Puff cereal, okay? And then you drink the milk afterwards and it was like a melted Reese's cup. What was your favorite cereal, Bay? Cookie crisp. <laughs> you are a cookie. Cookie crisp, really? Yeah, man. It was like little cookies. I, just, I remember those. Yeah, it's like it's like taking a shrink ray to a box of chips and <laughs> boy. It was amazing. Yeah. Off topic. Back to the short suit. Okay, so this green is leprechaun green. I don't know how it's actually showing up in the camera. And to be quite honest with you, when I was first shown these pieces, this color caught my eye because obviously it's the most colorful, the most vibrant, the most wow in your face. But for some reason, I, I thought it was more of an aqua teal. So obviously this is in my true size small. You can see from the overlap footage, in some places it does look a bit wrinkly, a little big actually. Like there's some room to play here. So if you're in between size on down, in fact, I'd be open to actually sizing down a full size. I think it'd be a little more flattering. And the great thing about these shorts is the fact that you don't feel any dig. Whereas the shorts you just saw in the dew color, I felt a slight cinch. I don't feel any in these. So I do feel like I have some room to work with. But just like the sports bra, you do have some bulky seams 
right around the neckline. Here it wasn't as noticeable to me. I'm not working out in it. Now you do have a lot of seam placement. You have one right across the midsection and it wraps right around the back to a full on T-seam, connecting straight to the glutes. I guess I'll live. But damn, look how long this T-seam is. Check it out. It goes all the way up like a highway. So you have a racer back, you have the Paragon logo right in between the racer back. The logo itself seems of high quality. They shrunk it up nice, perfect sizing. It's not over the top with the branding. The tonal logo really works for these minimal pieces. And by minimal, I just mean more solid tones. Now, this does have a built-in bra. You can see you have a nice elastic band completely built in with bra pads. In this footage though, I did take the bra pads out because they came in crimped. Luckily, this is nicely lined, real beautiful double layer. So if you're somebody who really doesn't care about bra pads, you don't actually need them. Overall, very comfortable bodysuit. And I know what you're thinking. Does the bodysuit have the sculpt seam too, Ash? No way. Yes way. It's definitely not as effective on the bodysuit as the leggings and shorts. I mean, think about it. You don't actually have a, a band it's connecting to. It kind of goes straight up into one piece. I don't really mind. In fact, when I do wear bodysuits, I typically wear them with a cardigan and some sneakers. That's how I like to wear them. But nevertheless, I'm glad they still put it in, kept it consistent. I can tell this is gonna be really good for all day wear because there's no riding up in the groin. And the thick straps are really nice. Whereas the sports bra, I feel like after a long time of wearing it, those straps might dig. I just feel like this thickness is gonna do a lot of good for all day wear, which is something I do plan to do with a bodysuit. I plan to wear it out for the day. All right guys, so that was it. What are we thinking of the new Paragon Botanical Collection? Again, that's launching April 20th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here's the part of the video where you comment your thoughts. I think these are super beneficial to wear if you're going to the gym and then you have other things to do on top of that. Like you are out for the day. These really can duel as more athleisure and or gym wear. Stay tuned, we have a lot of fun videos coming your way. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.